Hey there, it's the Cockney Colonel here again. It's like deja vu, Saturday afternoon. Um, virtually finished this week, virtually. Still a few more bits. We are overloaded, chock a block this week. We have got so much going on, it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna try and give you a quick buzz round, but there is so much to get through. We've got tools, we've got furniture, we've got home decor. We have got stuff coming out of our ears. All right, so anybody wants to invest and get us to uh, move over to the old Winn-Dixie that's vacant, just ship in, tell us, we'll move over there, we'll fill it up. Right, listen, got some nice couple of little clocks here we're gonna start off with, all right? This one looks like it's out of the Ming Dynasty or something. Probably not, but it could have been, couldn't it, eh? If they had clocks in those days. Little bit of naughty, little bit of naughty, vintage erotica. Little cards, apparently. Not looked at them myself, honest, right? Got some plane that flies around the front room, something like that, nine inch wingspan, does all sorts of tricks by the looks of it. Some comics and uh, train advertising things, apparently, like salute to the Boy Scouts and all that sort of stuff. Some Coca-Cola Christmassy stuff, by the old Town Square collection. All right, that looks pretty cool. Some rather neat, I know you guys like these, rather neat vintage um, postcards there. All right, like that one from an undertaker, for all you know, or may be dead. And that's from an undertaker. That's nice, isn't it? He says he's a friendly, friendly undertaker though, so he's probably all right. Got some great original photographs from um, Japan, apparently, I think the guy told me they were taken in. So some original photographs there in the plastic sheaths um, to show in the World War II from Japan. We've got a, a lion all big rugged train, right? It's made in America, so it's gonna be like pucker, right? Pucker as we say, that means blinding, that means like really nice, right? So it's a lion all, it's a coastal limited. Tells me, the geezer tells me, it's all there in the box. It's got like Chesapeake and Ohio or something on there. All right, but a nice little train set there, you like the train. This is rather unusual, right? This golden car, probably not real gold, but you know, it looks nice, you know? I like it anyway, looks good. Bit of home decor, blah, 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 home decor. Bon chef, right? Geezer's brought in some of these. I've got some more of these as well, right? Some skillets. So apparently if you're cooking on the old campfire or something, like you used to in the old days, before you had a, a stove, right, a cooker, right? You put this thing on there, bon chef. So you've got some nice platters there you can do. This is kind of cool. This is um, an old photograph, right, off of the USS Martha Washington. And it's a band that were there in 1919. Right, so it's a pretty cool photograph, right? And it's got a little cut out of what the ship looks like, so that's not an original photograph. That just gives you an idea. That's from uh, the, the crowd with the troops returning in 1919, all right, on the USS Martha Washington. Guy brought in also a cool little picture here, all right? It's the uh, Fort Benning from Georgia, the 5th East, right, um, Bat Battalion Company Platoon from 1985. So Fort Benning, Georgia. The platoon from 1985, so that's a cool little picture as well. Got some little cars there, I think there's a couple from 1969, there's some more model ones in there, the old matchboxes and stuff. Look at this fella, right? It's like King Dragon, right? With his little jewels and his treasures that he's collected, right? Diesel brought it in, made it himself. How cool is that? All right, wish I could make stuff like that, but I can't. Got some old pencil sharpener things, right, in the boxes. Some like, I don't know, Kennedy and stuff like that by the looks of it, all right? Boat out, bait over, look, like that geezer, happy geezer, wasn't he, eh? Bring all that music. This thing here, right? Guy brings it in, he says, I don't really know what it is, he says, but from what I can make out, I think it's a fire extinguisher, right? So, like, pumps out water, right? Anyway, Robbie, Commissioner Robbie, yeah? Our partner here, he comes in, he went, no, oh, no, 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 he said, it's a flamethrower. A flamethrower? I've got one bloke telling me it's a fire extinguisher, and I've got another bloke telling me it's a flamethrower. I'm looking at it, I'm like, Robbie, he's got a plastic nozzle. I said, if he's throwing flames out, that plastic nozzle's gonna melt. So, it's probably a fire extinguisher. Just saying. Right, false graph, gotta go this week, unfortunately. Didn't get, uh, didn't go too well last week, but it's gonna go this week, right? The old brown drip false graft. Tons and tons of it, but it's gotta go this week, all right? Shame, but it's got to go. Some kitchen stuff, right? Come and get some of your pots and pans and a, a nice, like, new Cuisine Art griddler over there, right? Some more of the home decor, rather cool little elephant pot thing there where the old lid comes off. Some of the old um, draftsman tools for doing stuff like that. Some of the old Pyrex and stuff. Y'all know you guys love those dishes, some of the stuff. The knives, nice knife set there. Some nice vintage knives. A couple of bits of artwork. Nice old Singer sewing machine. Another nice couple of clocks there. All right, a bit more home decor, chintzy stuff, right? Love it, love it, love it. 
quite a cool little pot stand or something like that, whatever you want to do with it, with a little um, cart thing. Thing, Right, we've got some tools, right? I'm going to come up with a load of tools in a little bit, but let me tell you. Guy brought in this Campbell Horsefield Power Pro, one horsepower. Used to have it up in Kansas, he told me, right? When he had a little house on a river. So he used to blow up inflatables with it. That's all he's ever used it for. So since he brought it down to the villages, it ain't been used, just been sitting there. So looks good, right? Should work well. Got a nice little table saw, it's on wheels as well, so that moves around easy. All right, nice little table saw, shop vac, a little Orip, uh, vacuum cleaner thingy there. Old vintage ironing board, right? So if the old lady's been bad, just come and buy an old vintage ironing board, yeah? Get her to work. Right, we've got a compressor. This is, no, that's a compressor. This thing's a um, power washer, that's it. Don't use none of these things myself. You know, I can employ people to do that because I don't want to get my hands dirty, do I? Don't like getting dirty hands. I've got something about that, it's like phobia about it. You know, like OCD or something like that. Anyway, this thing is like a heavy duty power washer. Right, so that's pretty cool. Couple of pack horse uh, saw horse things there. Nice thing for putting in the garage, put your golf clubs in there and your balls and your, your, your old uh, ch shoes and that stuff. Right, couple of bit more things there, the old shot, um, floor buffer thing. Nice humidifier, right? 70 pints, fridge air, humidifier. Looks like new, great shape, right? Nice little dolly, all in the furniture around. So when you buy some of this furniture later, you've got something to use it there. Eight foot ladder, right? Eight foot wooden ladder. Got a ton of tools coming, I'm telling you, you just wait. Look at this little geezer. Apparently he's like a hero, this geezer. Little old General Robert Lee, right? He was only little apparently, but hard as nails, as we say, right? Tough as boots, right? Nice picture of him there, really nice. Couple more of the old um, little matchbox cars, some old quilting magazines there. A roll of fabric, so you know, if you um, people are like into like recovering stuff like that, there's a whole roll of the fabric there. All right, nice bit of glassware. All right, that's a uh, Viking wear. All right, nice bit of Viking glassware. Winston Cup Series Grand National little jacket there in great condition from Daytona Beach. That's really cool. Dug out probably the last of the jigsaws for this week. All right, they went really well last time. Nice stories of people buying them for, you know, parents and friends and that, you know, that can't get out so much and just like to sit around and do the jigsaw. So it was really nice. We sell them in piles of six. Um, nice that some people are, you know, getting some real good use out of them. So please come again and take them away for us and put them to good use. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Um, some bits, we've got some old German, like espionage or something like that, magazines, right, right intriguing. Can't understand a word it says, luckily, because like, they didn't win the war, did they? Oops. Right, so anyway, some German stuff there, right? And then loads of other stuff, little old vintage toys and stuff, and tin tin and all that, blah, 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 blah. All right, and home decor, home decor, home decor, some old decanters, you've got Daniel Boone over there and that, and some of the old silver plate stuff, it's all got to go. All right, let me run you up here, all right, because this week I'm gonna take you around first to the tools. All right, so let's go and have a butchers at the tools. All right, we've got a load of them this week. All right, so let's have a look at what we got. We got one, two, three, four of these kind of metal tables with the wooden top, right? So they're gonna to have to be sold as well. So there's four of these tables with the tops and bottoms on, right? Great for the garage, all right? But we have got a whole, it's a whole that's a root iron, there's a drill back there, and there's a load of chisels, all right? And sort of drill bits and more chisels and stuff. If it's in a box, it's in one lot, all right? So we're gonna do them individual lots. I mean, look at that thing, that sort of rear view mirror thing, right? It's probably worth about 60 bucks if they stuck 30 on it. It's probably worth double that. Open your garage door and all the rest of it with that. That's quite handy. All right, and then we've got boxes of like screws and nails and bolts and more chisels and drill bits. And these things, I know they're mega expensive, those things. All right, and then we've got some socket sets in there. All right, washers and nuts and bolts and all sorts of stuff. Hammers and chisels and wrenches and everything in there and tons of more nuts and bolts and stuff and tons of screwdrivers. And then we've got like skill saws. We've got more, you know, sanders and hand drills and a really cool vintage. It's a Haya standard portable fast battery charger. All right, so that looks rather neat. All right, so that's pretty cool. Some pneumatic looking drill thing in there. Another load of uh, screws and stuff like that in there and drill bits. 
don't really know what this thing is again because it's a tool and I don't get my hands dirty but this thing must go on some sort of cylinder it looks like you know like when you do soldering or something like that in the garage you know something like that anyway boxes of stuff right boxes and boxes of it right so come and get it all right if you're going to resell it whatever you're going to do a whole box of spanners in there wrenches as you call them all right and screwdrivers some of the vintage screwdrivers in there some of the old planes all right and the old levels tons of stuff so it's all got to go oh must remember we've got some appliances this week got a nice little washer dryer all right, so a little dryer there and a washer. They're both the Kenmore 90 series. All right, and they are heavy duty, super capacity plus with a quiet pack, both of them. All right, and need a spare uh, freezer for the garage. Got a little Kenmore freezer here. All right, working great. Got it plugged in, ice cold in there. So if you need something to go out in the garage or something, you know, that'll work a treat. All right, now, furniture. Oh, do we have furniture this week? I have got it coming out of my ears, right? It is coming out. I'm going to come back here in a minute, right? But we've got like half a store full of this stuff, right? It is chock a block out here. Got some nice mid century stuff. So let's start out there with that, all right? Really neat little chair there, all right? It does have a little puffet that goes with it. Footstool, ottoman, whatever you call it. I call it a puffet, right? That's what it means, right? It's a puffet. Put your feet on it. But really a cool sort of mid century leather chair there. It's in great condition, that one. The old sofa, really long, you know, wide sofa, you know what these things are like, they're really cool. Now this thing here, it's a Tiffany stand, right? So really retro, sort of 60s, weighs a ton, right? When they used to make stuff back then, they made it, didn't they? And this thing is in great condition, I'm telling you. Nice little um, retro chair there as well, some kind of Rococo style, copy table, nesting tables, couple of great pieces of the old mid-century end tables there, all right, they're great. Then a really nice mid-century sort of um, dresser there with a mirror, all right? Got a matching set of drawers, chest of drawers with it, all right? So that's got to go, that's really pretty neat. Stepping away from the mid-century, microfiber, right? Normally I see this microfiber stuff and I'm like, Jesus, you know, it's all like messed up and everything. This, tip top, right? Really is, really nice little love seat, microfiber, great condition. Kind of a, a very light green kind of color, but it's great, right? They both recline, they rock and recline. So it's like a rocker recliner, right? Here's one of them, right? When these things were new, they cost a fortune. It's one of those chairs that you can either lay back in it or it will tip you up to get out, you know, when you're struggling a little bit. So, you know, if mum, nan or whatever, struggling a little bit, come and buy her a little chair so she can get out of the thing. And you ain't got to keep going over there and lifting her out. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right, nice little sofa table, Asian style. All right, that's pretty cool. Goes beyond a sofa, goes on the wall, whatever one you want to do with it. All right, couple of the old chairs, all right, they're going to be sold as a pair. Now the rug, right, I've got some pictures on there before we covered it. It is huge. It is 23 foot by, I think, 13 foot 6, right? 100% virgin wool, right? Everybody loves a bit of the old virgin wool, don't they, you know? So made in Hong Kong, probably cost about 13 grand when it was new. I hope I'll get 13 grand for it this Tuesday, but... I oh, might not, but anyway, it's gonna go. All right, come down. A couple of little pictures, all right? Nice little set, right, of a couple of end tables and a coffee table, right? Kind of modern, yeah, but really great condition, really nice. So two coffee tables with the matching coffee table, that's nice. Really nice condition, leather love seat there, right? That really is nice. That's gonna be going out of here, that's gotta go. We've got a nice kitchen island. Right, that again is in great condition, so that's kind of cool. There's an old, I can't even remember what Robbie calls this, and he ain't here to tell me, but it's a tall mirror thing, right? That's what I call it. It's a tall mirror thing. Looks rather neat. You could put a little pot or something on the bottom of it, so I'm sure that'll be marvellous. So come and buy the tall mirror thing. All right, thank you. Wall table, right? Nice modern kind of looking, kind of matches the old um, coffee table and the end tables, you know, it's that kind of style. Desk, they've got to go this week. Desk is going to go out of here. So come and buy your computer desk. Small footprint, modern, really nice, okay? Got three of these chests. Not all the same, right? This one's from some novelty company or something like that. All right, that's a nice one. This one's by Klein Brothers. All right, so that's a really cool one. 
All right, and then we got really nice condition. Got the key inside, label still on it. A nice lane cedar chest. All right, so if you need somewhere to put your quilts and the rest of the stuff, this is the place, come and get it. Nice dining set. These are always popular, these ones. You've got four of the chairs on casters. All right, cushions are in great condition. Table itself and the chairs are all looking good. All right, so nice glass top, you know, dining table with the casters on the, on the old chairs. That's really handy. You guys can get around easy. Just wheel around the old kitchen, happy days. All right, this um, Asian screen is kind of cool. Folds up, really compact, um, but it's a really nice little piece. Gonna have some mirrors out this week. Said to Robbie, Robbie, you've got all these chairs. They're taking up all this room. We need to get rid of them. Robbie does like to keep stuff. He does not get rid of stuff. So anyway, these old chairs, right? We're well, not that old, but they, you know, they're kind of like in that old look, right? They are really heavy. They're really high quality, decent chairs. But I told him they gotta go. So they're gonna have to come out of here. Couple of the old um, Asian screen pieces there as well. Sorry, this is a long video, but we do have a lot of stuff this week. All right, so a couple of the Asian pieces there. All right, gonna bomb round because we've got a couple of bedroom sets to go this week as well. All right, this is part of a king size bedroom set. You've got a dresser there with a mirror, another tall dresser there. All right, and that matches. You've got two nightstands with it. All right, the two nightstands, a headboard, and a king size mattress. So the whole shebang, all right? Mattress, you've got the box set, you've got the frame, all right? You've got it all going on. Damn, these are really cool. These are, I think these are antique, these ones. These are really nice, sort of oriental style, right? And the middle drawer there, where that little band is, that opens up and it's got like a vanity mirror that opens in there. Um, really cool. So you've got the dresser with the mirror and the tall dresser that's got the vanity uh, displayed in the, in the middle there. You've got a nice hutch. All right, so two-piece hutch, that's got to go out here. Little rocking chair there. And one of the two or three recliners that we've got. So there's that one there. There's a nice floral love seat. Okay, little coffee table. Another little rocker chair there. All right, nice little round dining set with the four chairs. So that's quite compact and quite cool. Uh, the brown ones are brand new, they've even got the labels still on them, so you've got some nice patio chairs there as well. Nice little, um, this is really cool, sort of a glider, rocker glider, and the old footstool, puffo thing, that glides and rocks as well, so that's kind of cool. This is a really nice heavy duty dining set, got eight chairs with this one. Um, I think there's two leaves that go in the middle, and you've got all the pads that go on the top, um, but eight chairs with this one, alright, in really nice condition. Really good quality, all right. And then one of the other sort of recliner ones there, I think that is. And some filing cabinets. And another bedroom set, I think it's a queen size, that one, all right. So listen, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna start the preview, four o'clock on Tuesday, all right. Then once we've done the whole hallway, all right, and all the tools, we're gonna move on to the furniture. Now, you know, look, we go fast down here. So we do just blitz this stuff out and we've, you know, this whole room will be empty. Come about 6.30 on Tuesday. It will be blitzed, right? All the tools, everything. We just blitz it and get rid of it and get it out of here. All right. So the furniture, we will start once the main auction is over. So the furniture auction will start at around 6.30 to 7 o'clock. All right. So we do the furniture after the main auction. But there is a ton of stuff this week, all right? So it's gonna be a cracker. No jolly trolleys, all right? I don't have room, all right? So no junky jolly trolleys this week. I know you guys love it and it is really cool stuff, but I ain't got room for it this week. So no jolly trolleys. I remember, get me the money, get us into Winn-Dixie. We'll take it over. We'll do good. You'll do good. Happy days. Right, 400 East Gulf Atlantic Highway which is basically State Road 44, all right? Close to the junction of 301. All right, four o'clock preview, five o'clock start on Tuesday, the 25th of August. All right, come on down, get your bargains. All right, bring your money, spend it all.